Children need discipline in order to learn, but there's the perennial question of what works best. After all, we don't like the thought of being unnecessarily unkind, and we don't want to be viewed as an angry, yelling ogre by our children. In this video, I'm going to outline a couple of really important points to help you effectively discipline your kids without losing your cool or losing their respect. So let's go. Discipline works when you are a credible parent. So what does it mean to be credible? I've actually developed an entire course on credibility, but let's talk about it briefly right here. Sometimes it's easier to define something by what it's not. And I've got a really great personal story of this that I actually witnessed not too long ago. The other day I was walking into this exercise room that was right next to an indoor pool. And so you kind of had to go into the pool area to get into this exercise room. As I was entering the room, I saw two kids playing in the pool together. One was probably 13, the other one was six or seven years old. On the outside of the pool was their dad. He was yelling at them, get out of the pool now. And the kids seemed to not even hear him. They were 100% ignoring him. And he kept yelling, his face was turning more and more red. So I go into this exercise room and where I can sort of witness this, I could watch this. And I was in there for about 30 minutes. And the whole time I was watching this, this dad yelling at his kids and the kids ignoring his dad. And at one point, just for fun, I decided to count how many times he was saying this. And it was weird. He, you know, I think he actually got up to about 30 times he yelled at them to get out of the pool. And they totally ignored him. It was fascinating to see how little attention these kids paid to their dad. His anger, his yelling, his red face caused them no anxiety at all. They were not concerned with him at all. I think they just knew that all they had to do was ignore him, hang in there, and eventually he'd go away. This dad was not credible. What does it mean to be credible? When you hear a crazy news story or a rumor at work, you wonder, you know, is this for real? Is this from a credible source? Can I trust this? When you have credibility as a parent, your kids trust you and they know that you mean what you say. They can know what to expect from you. And it's actually comforting for kids to have that sense of reliability, even if they don't like what the boundary is. Now, when you discipline, I've got three suggestions for you. Number one, be neutral. Develop the skill of being firm but neutral, meaning use a neutral tone of voice. Because once you yell, then they're just paying attention to you and your yelling and not the behavior that you're actually yelling about. So being neutral, be businesslike, that demonstrates that you mean business and your focus is on the behavior. It's hard to do when emotions are running high. I know that for myself, but it's important because you want your kids paying attention to what you want and not paying attention to just your emotions. Being neutral, being businesslike, that makes you credible. Before I share another example, I just wanna thank you for watching this video. Are you struggling to communicate with your child or to discipline them effectively? None of us were ever handed a manual when our kids were born with all the rules and things we should do and things we shouldn't do, but we just learn by trial and error. Well, this channel is all about using my system of correcting and connecting to build a strong, trusting relationship with your child. If that's the kind of thing you wanna know more about, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share with any friends you think would benefit. Number two is empathy. Sounds strange to say this, but I believe empathy and discipline can and should coexist. It just means that you set boundaries while being neutral and empathetic for their consequences. In a sense, you're commiserating with them and the consequences they're about to suffer from them, but you are not rescuing them from those consequences. You are not alleviating them from those consequences but you can commiserate with them. You can say, you know, oh, Sarah, I hate that you have to miss going out with your friends tonight. There's really nothing more that I want for you to be able to be with them. And I wish you'd done your report earlier, I really do. Empathy is a way of relating to your kids. I can relate to all kinds of mistakes that my kids have made. I can remember how hard it was to not get picked until the last choice for a team at recess. I can relate to so many things they've struggled with. Sometimes it can be humorous relating but any kind of relating is empathy, just letting them know that you get it. Number three, you have to pick your battles. If you pick every battle, you're gonna lose them all. Picking too many battles is probably the single best way to teach your kids how to blow you off. So pick the battles that are most important to you. I've spent the last 25 years as a clinical psychologist working primarily with children, adolescents, and young adults and their families. I created the Correct and Connect system that helps parents become much more effective at bonding with their kids and positively influencing them. This system is totally unique and very effective. I've seen how beneficial it is in my own family and in many other families. 
If you think my experience and knowledge could be interesting or useful to your audience, then I'd love to connect with you about sharing with them. I'm available to be interviewed for podcasts, live streams, media broadcasts, written publications, or any other forms of relevant media. Just go to drtodtalks.com and register your interest today, or just click the link in the video description below.